Come on, go. Big tree. Cooking in no time. Pretty great. I get to lounge in the lake. And Jay makes supper. Hey, he volunteered. Come on. Come on. Flies won't get you in here. Oh boy, come on. Come on. Good job. Oh boy, come on. Jay's gone all out. He's got venison backstrap, peppers, onions, mushrooms, and some rice. It looks awesome. Jay set the bar pretty high with venison, backstrap, with an all-natural rock plate. No messing looks, around. No, it looks amazing. Thanks, buddy. No problem. Going full-on caveman here. Oh, so good. I should have just brought a metal fork, though. <laughs> Saving whatever two ounces or whatever with my stupid plastic fork. Yeah, I'm trying to eat steak with a spork. <laughs> but, oh, look at that! Yeah, we're roughing it. So we're getting towards the end of summer and it's almost that time of year where you can sleep without a tent on. Jay's trying everything he can here to do his best to find some kind of solution to keep the bugs off his face. Seems breathable enough, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Might suffocate in there. <laughs> <laughs> not recommended. Not recommended. Jay's a professional. Don't Don't try this at home. This is nice though.
balloons everywhere this morning and it's already really warm. I have to stop for a swim before too long. But can't beat this weather. Absolutely gorgeous weather. What a day. Pulled up on this really nice campsite here. Stop, have a little break. Actually stop and maybe have some lunch. Maybe a swim. Just take a break from the sun. It's pretty intense out there today. Sweet with heat. You just load her on. <laughs> just wash it down with a little sweet with heat mustard. Lunch and a swim. Just what we needed. Uh, neither of us slept very well last night. Uh, both of us have some lingering back issues. So, a little break was what we needed. Now, to the river. What are you thinking here? I don't know. I'm thinking treat it like the Partridge River. <laughs> and just give her. Nice and easy. First little rapid of the trip. No big deal. Kind of fun watching Jay try to surf in that wave. Tried to fit in beside him, but I was kind of worried about bumping into him. One of us going over, so. No worries.
Cooper jumped right in and swam down. Come on, Coop. Come on. Looks like a drop up there. Looks like a sizable drop down. Like, not drop, but change in elevation. I think I'm gonna kick Cooper off again. It's easier without him. Okay, come on. Come on. Boy, Coop. Good dog. One spot. Nice. I just kissed the one. It was actually. Come on. It didn't look like much. Pretty big shoot to drop through here. Very small margin of error here. The rocks in this section of the river are really chewed up. They're like often angled upstream at weird angles, very sharp. There's potential there to really do some damage to the canoe, so we've got to be careful. But that said, if we're careful, I think we're good. We're about to find out. I got hung up there pretty good. Yeah, I hit a bunch of rocks. Well, that was fun. Looks like we got another one coming right up here.
we're going to call this home for tonight. This is it for the night. Perfect. Go full diaper mode. Cooper? Hey, buddy. Oh, boy. Come here. Go. Come on. And then we diapered our life jackets, and we're just smoking hot. Got a lot of sun today. And it's now it's just past 6.30. We had a good long swim, got the fire going, and dinner's on, so... It looks like it's going to be another beautiful night. Cannot complain. Having my homemade freeze-dried beef curry meal that I made. It's got carrots, potatoes, onions, peas, beans, corn, beef. And then I freeze dried this all at home and it turned out amazing. Probably put a bit too much water in it, but even the potatoes came back. The last time I dehydrated this and it was terrible, you couldn't eat the potatoes. Now it turned out amazing. That camp pretty well buttoned up for the night. Most of our gear stowed. It's another gorgeous day out here. I really can't beat this. Cannot beat it. Finally got a little fish. Nothing to write home about, but finally a fish. There you go, bud. I can tell you the problem. It ain't got no water in it. <laughs> That's a bit of an issue. So this river has several dams along it, hydroelectric dams and it controls the flow. The river levels stay pretty consistent spring through the fall, which makes it really nice. You know, the river's supposed to always be runnable. But we got to our second dam we have to portage around. A few days before we set out, we had checked the water flow and it was above seasonal. And now we get here, so you can see the creek bed is very dry. Doesn't bode well for what's downstream. We might have to portage a little more than we were expecting, but Whatever. 
there's only one way to get home. He made it. Jay took the riskier route and he made it. The top went absolutely perfect. It was perfect. But I couldn't see, like, scouting from the other side what was down there. I don't even know if there is a good line. I mean, I'll have a look at it now. Yeah. Break out the sweet with heat. Yeah, you want some? <laughs> awesome. So our maps show two channels around this island. And this, you can see behind me, is one of them. So the water is unseasonably low right now where they're holding back more water than normal or something. Yeah, there is just a little trickle of water coming down through there. A little rapid here to run. Shallow and rocky as we've expected to find. See if we can just kind of slide down through this channel here. Yeah. Like a glove. This one's a little steeper. Woo! There's no good spot to go down there. Came pretty close to putting her over there.
Nice little leisure time there, catching loads of little bass. Nice to take a little break. We're not in that big of a hurry, so I think we're only a kilometer or two maybe to our campsite. We're just enjoying the river. Low water. Yeah, still nowhere else you'd rather be. Hold on to it and lower it down to you. This has to be the prettiest campsite I've ever stayed at. And the fishing's awesome to boot. So, pretty wicked altogether. So far we've got five fish. I think Jay might have one or two on his stringer. We've got some bass. We ended up with a walleye. Looks like we're gonna have a little fish fry. But, time to get camp set up. And it's mostly taken in the scenery here. It's been unreal. So beautiful. We've got a pot full of fish, some butter, and I think Jay is going to use, what are they called again? Bacon and cheddar crispy potato covered peanuts. Potato covered peanuts. I'm, I think it was my job to bring the fish crisp, and I forgot. It was nobody's so. job, just nobody <laughs> did it. <laughs> nobody did it. Anyways, I had some out and I didn't bring it, I forgot. So we're gonna try the potato peanuts <laughs> on a few I pieces. Crush them up here. See how it goes. We got I got chili with cheese and Jay's got something else over there. I'm starving. Potato peanuts looks like turned out okay. Have to wait and see how it tastes. There's our fish. Mm. Crispy, buttery, peanutty, <laughs> potatoey. Pretty delicious. What an awesome spot!
I have to dry that out a little bit. <laughs> you got any, any rice? Yeah, we'll just put in some rice. It'll be fine. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Good morning. Nice leisurely breakfast. And now we say goodbye to the waterfall. What a spot. That was incredible. What a beautiful place. Man, definitely on the list of places I would go back to. Caught lots of fish. Had a good night. Beautiful view. Water seems to have come up a little bit. The rock just behind me here where we were standing on fishing is now under about six inches of water looks like the maybe the dams opened up a little bit I don't know I suppose that's what it is That's the falls. Looks like there's some good drop there, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a waterfall. Kind of looks like a waterfall. Kind of sounds like a waterfall. Okay. So we had to portage this first chute behind me and then looking downstream, it looks like we can run the next bit of rapid and then we'll have to eddy out and see what's around the corner. It looks pretty big too. We were in the middle of our portage and Jay realized that he left his fishing rod back at the campsite. He's paddled back up. It's maybe a kilometer, kilometer and a half back to the campsite against the current with a few little swifts to get through. So I'm waiting here for him and just scouting and trying to pick a line down this next chute.
Come on now. Lots of water in the boat. Yeah. Especially when you hit them sideways. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta pull over here and bail. Good dog, Coop. Good boy. Good dog, Coop. Well, that was fun. Again, that didn't go exactly as I was <laughs> hoping it would, but. Oh. It's fun nonetheless. Cooper did great running along the shore there. He's figuring that out. A few times he'll, every once in a while, he'll want to jump in and follow me in the river. But he's starting to get the hang of it. Looks like we maybe have a waterfall coming up. You gonna run it? I don't know. I'm gonna have the bus from the bottom here. On the fence. through this little chute here. Oh. Oh. Well, Jay's deciding if he wants to run down that or not. Looks like Jay's decided he's gonna portage. Not sure if he can hit that line up there, which I don't know if he could either. Maybe save a little carnage. Looks like another good drop right there. Yeah, it looks like another little waterfall coming up. Something else right around the corner too. That's got a good drop in it. It's pretty rocky too, eh? Yeah. Just looking at this other rapid here. A little tricky section right behind me, but it looks runnable. And there's some flat water downstream, so hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Good boy, Coop. That one was 
nice because it had a proper line through it. Yeah. That was a good one for sure. It wasn't one of those like, eh, <laughs> we'll grind over this and that, and it should work. It was like, oh, we can actually go down here properly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That was great. I got a little nervous at the start because I got a little cockeyed off that first wave, and then I hit the second part pretty good. That right hander into that tongue was cool. Though. Yeah. Uh, they scout from the river left the way it bends? I guess so. I'm going to pick up Cooper and bring him back across. There's a big rock in that hole. That's a big hole, too. <laughs> How much water did you take on? Um, I avoided that after watching you smash through. <laughs> I got it right, and it was fine when I took out some water further down. There's like three inches of water in the bottom of here. <laughs> With the spray deck. Yeah. Besides that, it was good. Yeah. The I avoided it. <laughs> the, bo the bottom half went fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just debating what to do on another rapid here. Looks like Jay wants to run it, so I'll let him try it first and then I'll decide what to do. Oh. 
not what I envisioned at the top of the rapids, but what are you gonna do? I got kind of crossed up on that first shoot and over into that eddy. Thankfully, I caught that eddy because I was gonna go sideways down the next drop. And that was not what I wanted. Anyway, kept the boat upright. Come on, buddy. Here, here, here. Good boy, good boy. Looks like we got some flat water now for a little while. Change it up, maybe one or two more rapids left to do. There he is. Well, that was our last rapid. Stopped here at the falls to go find the truck. This was a lot of fun. Jay and I had a great time out here again. He's a really cool guy to trip with. So go check out his channel, Jason Bams, on YouTube. He's got some uh, a few trip videos he's starting to put up. And there's a pretty good video if you're looking to outfit a canoe. Everything you need to know is on there. Thanks for coming along, and we'll see you on the next one.